In this video I wanted to share with you some not too well known footage of three rocket car jumps which are truly unbelievable. Be sure you watch to the end to find out how you can enter for free to win a nitrous oxide kit when the channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. Getting into the video, our first jump takes us back to 1976 Morrisburg, Ontario, Canada. The event, simply known as the Super Jump, would involve stuntman Ken Carter, also known as the Mad Canadian, to drive his rocket-powered Lincoln Continental up a ramp eight and a half stories high at 280 miles per hour in order to fly the car one mile across the St. Lawrence River and land on Ogden Island in New York. Press the like button if you agree wings fitted to a Lincoln Continental is the coolest thing you've ever seen. The jump's planning took four years and cost over $1 million to organize and was reportedly called off several times. On the day of the jump, Ken Carter was thought to have lost his nerve and was pulled by the sponsors. This meant that American stuntman Kenny Powers would drive the Canadian's rocket car in order to satisfy sponsors and avoid yet another called off jump. I'll now shut up so you can watch the first of these three incredible rocket car jumps. As you can tell from the footage, the attempt was a complete failure, with the car being violently shaken apart from the bumps on the ramp itself before it had chance to take flight. Kenny Powers survived, however, he broke eight vertebrae, three ribs, and fractured a wrist. For the next six years, Ken Carter would do smaller jumps at local shows. However, in late August 1982 at Cayuga International Speedway, a new record attempt to jump 160 feet in a rocket-powered car and drive it back around to the start line was set to take place. One. Into the launching ramp, up into the air, 85 miles an hour, onto the ramp, down, he's clear, can he keep it running? After landing the car, it was measured that Ken Carter had actually jumped 186 feet and made it back around the oval circuit to the start line with the help of a push from a tow truck. A year later, in 1983, Ken Carter approached the owner of Westgate Speedway, located in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, to discuss yet more rocket car jumps. These were supposed to be lower risk, smaller jumps to entertain small crowds, but as soon as Ken noticed there was a pond next to the track, he wanted to jump it. On his first attempt at the jump, he admitted overcorrecting the steering, which caused the car to leave the ramp sideways and land straight into the water. I think the car kind of got out of control on Ken uh, on takeoff and kind of got off the ramp on one side and tore the car apart a little bit and then of course the car just went off the side of the ramp. Once rescued out of the water, without consulting event organizers, he announced to the media that they would be back just a short while later on Labor Day to attempt the jump again. We'll be back Labor Day weekend, and I'm going to get this car across this pond. I swear to you I will. In record timing, the car was repaired and returned to the track for the second attempt. The second try to clear the pond at Westgate was set to be in the dark, and at the last minute, Ken had requested extra fuel to be added in order to be sure he would clear the pond. This addition of fuel meant that the rocket was still firing in the air when it should have run out of fuel as it left the ramp. Emergency rescue staff pulled Ken out of the car as fast as they could and got him to hospital, but sadly, Ken Carter passed away en route to hospital. On Sherbrooke Street, just below Crestwood, um, I believe that uh, I got a pulse for about maybe 30 seconds or 35 seconds, maybe a minute. And then I lost him right there. Ken Carter was truly passionate about his stunt career and believed in going after whatever you want to do in life. Hello, my name is Ken Carter. I'm a stunt driver. I jump cars for a living people like to see me do it. You know, this is a fabulous time that we're living in. We can do anything that we want to do. And I mean that, mm -hmm. if you work at it hard enough. I highly recommend that you watch the full-length feature film of Ken Carter's called The Devil at Your Heels, 
of which I will leave a link in the description. Before I end the video, in order to be in with a chance of winning a nitrous oxide kit when the Crazy Speed channel hits 100,000 subscribers, simply like the Facebook page and I'll let you know further details on how to register when we hit the 100k milestone. Thanks for checking the video out and have a great rest of your day.